<laughs> I had a cousin like that. <laughs> Never mind your cousin. Please, sit down. Where I can see you. Where are your qualifications, eh? You were asked to bring uh, documents, diplomas, certificates, testimonials. Oh, well, I didn't know you meant all of them. How many have you brought? Well, just the one. How many have you got? Just the one. <laughs> Mr. Spencer, I don't think there's a great deal of demand for 25-yard breaststroke because I'm a sheep. <laughs> well, I have swum much further, but I was wind-assisted. <laughs> And I had the armbands on. <laughs> I'm sure you have. I know you didn't actually say that you wanted lifeguards. That's because we don't. Oh. Well, I can hold my nose and stand the water for two minutes. No. I'm willing to fight a shark. No. An electric eel. No. I don't mind getting my hair wet. No, 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 no. <laughs> we don't want lifeguards. Lifeguards we do not want. Couldn't you just squeeze one in? No! <laughs> Oh, I'm sorry, Mrs. Spentos. Mm. It's obvious to me that you don't entirely share your husband's feelings in this matter. Perhaps it would be better if I could see each of you alone. Eh? Um, do you want to do Frank first? Yes, I'd like to do your husband first. <laughs> I'm just here, Mrs. Spencer. Judy, some tea for Mrs. Spencer, please. One certificate. One. A list of jobs as long as a kangaroo's leap and not a single reference. You're following me again? You know I don't like being followed. No, I'm not following you. I was going in completely the other direction. But I was standing in the same way as you. <laughs> oh, I was just looking at your aberration there. <laughs> at the waterhole. <laughs> He's a rude aberration. <laughs> I'd like to draw your attention to question 12. You're following me now. <laughs> According to this, you spent three months in a monastery and graduated as a gas fitter. I did the gas fitting before I went in. I was just living in the monastery. That was your home? I didn't have a home. That was why I was doing the part-time monking. <laughs> Question 13. Unlucky for some. <laughs> I used to be a bingo caller, too. Details of education. We don't seem to have too much here, do we? No, well, I didn't have a lot of education because I had to look after my mother. Yeah, she was good to me. <laughs> well, she was good to me. Times were hard in Crippin Lane. <laughs> but I always had my comic money and always had clean vest and pants. Mr Spencer, please! <laughs> but my Auntie Dingle wasn't very nice. <laughs> She used to bring homemade jelly round. It didn't even wobble. Will you be quiet? Why is it every time I ask you a simple question, you not only avoid giving me a simple answer, you go on and on and on? Well, I was trying to be brief. Brief? You don't know what the word means? Please sit down, sit down, sit, 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 sit. <laughs> Mr. Spencer, I'm going to ask you again. A simple question. Do you think you could try just this once to give me a small, simple, brief, truthful, Answer. Yes. Right, now. As my mother always said, tell the truth and the devil will fail. Tell a lie and it'll be on your tail. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It's not that funny. <laughs> Mr. Spencer, what job are you actually doing at the moment? Well, I got a bit confused because you were shouting at me. <laughs> Oh, God. I'll ask you again. And this time, I'm not shouting. No, but you was a minute ago when I mentioned my jelly wobbling. <laughs> what job are you actually doing at this moment in time, today, Tuesday the 27th? Well, I'm not doing anything today because I had to come here. <laughs> Mr. Spencer, let me put it another way. What job are you actually doing tomorrow? Tomorrow? Tomorrow they said they could manage without me. Mr. Spencer, how long do you think they're going to be able to manage without you? Well, I don't have to work Thursday, and then I don't work Friday, and Saturday's the day off, and Sunday's my day of rest. Rest from what? You're not doing anything this week. Not this week, no. Yeah, then what, what about next week? What about next, next week? Next week? Next week? 
Nothing. <laughs> Nothing! You're unemployed, aren't you? Yes. You say something? I was just getting round to it. <laughs> I'm not coming into work tomorrow. Today, I'm not coming in on Friday. And then there's Sunday. And then, and then, and then, and then, we have Sunday. <laughs> You're going to give yourself a day. <laughs> Mr. Lawrence, are you all right? <laughs> well, shall I get the lady? Would you like a glass of water? Have you... Oh, why not have a little beverage? Hey? Have you got a glass? You cheer yourself up. <laughs> your door a way I have to race but I can tell you wish me well but a look that's on your face <laughs> They can manage without me tomorrow. I won't come in on Friday, then there'll be Saturday. Sunday I'll have a day of rest. I feel better when I've had a day of rest. <laughs> I just don't like being followed about. <laughs> Please don't follow me about. I just don't like being followed about. I must be followed about. Oh, Betty, Betty, I am so excited. And I can't wait to tell Jessica tomorrow morning who's going to be on Australian soil on Christmas Day. Frank, <laughs> we won't be there that soon. I mean, did Mr Lawrence definitely say that we could go? Yes, he was grinning all over his teeth. <laughs> he was jumping at and down with excitement. Oh, Betty, we got to get organised. <laughs> Wait until we hear something from him. No, no, no. We've got to sort out there's the passports and we've got to get ejaculated against disease. <laughs> <laughs> Don't want to go and get bitten by a wallaby, do we? Oh, but there'll be plenty of time for this later. You haven't even started your flying lessons. No, but I better get a move on because Mr. Lawrence could call any day to confirm. That could be him. That could be him. Hold that. <laughs> Hello, Mr. Lawrence. Uh, yes, Mr. Spencer does live here. This is he speaking. No, I'm not Mr. Lawrence. Who said I was? <laughs> Betty, we have a confused man here. <laughs> Hello. Yes, this is the Mr. Spencer that does electrical and varied gas repairs. <laughs> Oh, well, I don't know about that. I don't think I can arrange anything now. Yes. Well, I'm afraid I can't be with you for at least, well, 20 minutes. <laughs> All right, could I have your name and address, please? Thank you. Mr. Brown, yes. Could you spell that, please? <laughs> Thank you. 26, up and down. Right. Thank you. Goodbye. Goodbye. <laughs> 